is yourself more like Sancho Panza or Don Quixote? Uh, I thought I was more like Quixote, but Tony Grizzoni, who wrote the script with me, he thinks I'm more Sancho Panza. I probably am both, because the whole point of Quixote is not just about one person, it's about the two, the madman and the person who is the peasant with his feet on the ground. I'm both. <laughs> In Terry Gilliam's films, uh, we find uh, both the reality and fantasy. Mm. Why? I think you can't have one without the other. Uh, I've always felt that. I was, I've, I've always loved being a fantasist. I love dreaming of things but I don't want to just float away from reality. I think it's the tension between the two things that makes for interesting storytelling. <laughs> How many times have you changed the, the film during the making of it? You don't, I don't know. It changes in little ways as you're going, because, you know, you've got a script, you've got a plan, and then the weather changes, you know, somebody, an actor comes up with a new idea, and I like incorporating those, but it, the, the path, we always get to the same point I was trying to get to, but rather than a straight line, it's like a wiggly line. And um, how do you choose the, the cast for the film? I don't know, I just, I just go for the best that I can find best actors, because then I don't have to direct actors, they just do the job. I mean, it, that's what I, I love working with really good actors, because they bring much more to the thing than just what we wrote. And uh, hopefully, I and they have to be people that will be fun to work with. The, everybody has to focus on what we're trying to do, but not be pedantic or boring or difficult, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Uh, a question about Umbria. Uh, why did you choose Montone and uh, Umbria? Umbria was cheaper than Tos <laughs> Toscana. That's why we chose Umbria. I know when I was making uh, Baron Munchausen, uh, a friend who was in the crew said, oh, they just bought a new, uh, an old house in Umbria. It costs no money. He said, you must go and look. So I went looking. And years later, I found something and I bought it. <laughs> Uh, the last question, the best things and the worst thing in Umbria? The, oh, the best thing, the people are great here. I like it because they're, they're, just, they're very generous here, they're very relaxed, uh, and that's fantastic. And the worst thing is, oh, it's next to Toscana. <laughs> 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 it's very funny when I drive over if it's say going to Firenze and get to Castiglione Fiorentina and I look out in Tuscany and it's a desert <laughs> here it's green and beautiful <laughs> it's very strange how quickly one becomes Italian in that sense all the others are stranieri and the nemici <laughs> we, we think the same <laughs> thank you great thanks